Well, book two, this is Mike Frost, the post postmodern poetry prognosticator, which is a very silly title, I imagine. Uh, but here I, I was out doing yard work today, wasn't planning on doing a video, but I came in to watch a few videos in between yard work and I saw Rashmika just did a shout out, three shout outs for 300 subscribers on her channel in which she was just so kind as to mention me in the in the in the videos one of the shout outs uh, well now before you start making judgments that uh, she has very poor taste in mentioning me in a shout out let me say she made three shout outs and two out of the three were very good so despite the fact that she used my name in there and was kind enough to mention me uh, the other two are actually good booktubers and really worth your time in taking a look at uh, those being Lucifer over at Argyle, Dino, the Argyle Dinosaur. Uh, she is fantastic, and she does wonderful, not just book videos, but outside of book videos, too. They are just, she's just that kind of personality. You just, you're drawn into her, like Rashmika, really. I mean, you're just drawn in by their warmth, by their personality, by who they are, and you enjoy their videos whether you read the same kind of books or not. It doesn't really matter. It's you are drawn in by who they are. Uh, the other one that Rashmika uh, mentions is Stuart Payne and Stuart Payne Poetry. I, I'm going to link these other two booktubers because they really are worth your time, uh, <laughs> unlike myself. But if you uh, if you take a look at their videos now, Stuart isn't he's, he's even less active than me. I would and that's tough to do on booktube. Uh, but what he puts out are gems, and I would if if we could put a few more subscribers his way, maybe we could encourage him to do more videos, which would be fantastic. It would really enrich BookTube if we got more videos from Stuart Payne over at Stuart Payne Poetry. So I'm going to link them below, encourage you to go see them and go see Rishmika, always see Rishmika, um, despite her kind words my way. Don't, don't uh, judge her harshly for that. Uh, the other thing that I would mention is, and she mentioned this in the, um, in her kind words to me, is that, that I did the African writers tag that she put out. Uh, and in that video, yeah, she was kind enough not to mention this, but I did it basically to acknowledge my ignorance of most African writers. Uh, my familiarity with African writers, if you will, are Egyptian writers, Moroccan writers, uh, most of North Africa, which I've been to. Um, but I consider those if, if, and I know this is not commonly held, but I think of them more as Arab writers, Arabic writers, because they wrote in Arabic. Uh, uh, so I, I don't associate, I think with the African writers tag was meant for other than the Egyptian. I'm not saying that they're not African. I'm just saying it's a, the culture that she was looking to draw out, our cultural awareness that she was looking to draw out was probably south of that, Sudan and South, uh, Central Africa, South Africa, where she is from. Uh, so I did the African writer's tag to basically confess my ignorance uh, and to start the process of trying to enlighten myself, try to read a little bit more of the African writers. And I, I primarily deal with poetry, as you probably tell by the name of this channel, uh, but I'm also reading other writers, not just poets. But in, in so I, I pitched the idea to her in, in a comment somewhere. We haven't really discussed it. We haven't drawn it out. But I have in the back of my mind this idea of doing August in, in Africa, not actually going to Africa, but doing a, uh, a read along or, or concentrating in August on African writers and maybe, and maybe do a video a week on a different African poet that I would read and maybe review a few of their works. But uh, as I said in the, in the tag, I'm completely ignorant uh, in that direction. So what I did was I ordered uh, a box set of chapbooks from Amazon. And I, I ordered this one here, The New Generation of African Poets. It's a chapbook of, of 10 chapbooks. Now, so for those that maybe not read a lot of in the poetry area and it's it's obscure i guess is i i usually pick up a lot of chat books because i i may not be familiar with the poets and it gives me a really quick it's just a short uh example of their works 
And if I'm intrigued, maybe I'll go buy a book of their poetry. And then if that intrigues me, maybe I'll buy their collected works or, or continue buying if they're contemporary poets, continue buying as many of their books as, as I can find out there. So chat books are usually for me just, and most chat books are published to be basically something just to give you a snippet of a writer. They're not high quality published materials like a good paperback or a good hardback book. But when I got this box set in, I was astounded by the quality of these chapbooks that are put out. This is the box. It's a box set. This is the box it came in, a box of 10 uh, chapbooks by Af Now, their defini definition of African poets also include uh, African writers that have immigrated to uh, either Europe or the United States. They, they now live in the United States, but they're either born there or first generation uh, American, first generation European of some sort. But, but they, so it's, it's a broader definition than just writers currently living or born and living in Africa. It's a little bit broader than that, but uh, the box that it came in was beautiful. And then I looked at each individual. Now, it comes with a, a great, I'm, I'm bringing this up because I really highly recommend that you take a look at this. If you want to follow me in, in August in Africa, take a look at this. this these chat books are gorgeous. I've not ever seen such high quality chat books. And I read a lot of poetry, people. Uh, th this is an introduction uh chat book. So it's the, uh, the writers giving you an introduction to all 10 of these things. And I, I'm going to just, because I, I, I'm not familiar with any of these folks. So I picked them up and, and I meant to just kind of like put these off to the side till July, because I got a lot of reading to do between now and, and July. So I was going to just pick them up, pick up as many books as I could in July to familiarize myself and maybe pick some quotes that I would do then in August. But when I got these things, I, I, couldn't just let him sit there. I mean, these things are gorgeous. Uh, and then I, <clears throat> and so this is the back of the, of the introduction one. It says, New Generation African Poets, a chapbook box set. So it's a box set of 10 chapbooks. Edited by, and please, I, I don't, I'm not familiar with any of these names, so I'm going to butcher some of them. Uh, Kwame Dwans and Chris Albani is an annual project of the African Poet Book Fund, established through the generosity of Laura and Robert F. X. Silliman, and published in collaboration with Asaki Books, which seeks to identify the best poetry written by African authors working today, with a special focus on those who have not yet published their first full-length book of poetry. So I, I want I don't often read that in the other reviews that I do because I just want to give credit to these folks, uh, both the the editors of this, because I'm, I'm not, I couldn't could not read these things. These things just drew me in. And they're gorgeous and they're great poetry. Um, I'm just blown away by these this series. Uh, these editors have done a fantastic job. And they've, and they've got a different, someone else does, the, well, they do some of the introductions in, in the books, but the introductions to these poets in these chapbooks, which you don't always get in chapbooks, are phenomenal. They're, they're just spot on. And usually in poetry books, you end up with a lot of fluff. You end up with a lot of words that mean absolutely nothing when you're reading an introduction to a lot of poetry and poets. But these are carefully written introductions to each one of these poets. So the editors have done a great job. The, the picking out who's doing the introductions fantastic job and then one last thing I got and just so the Ashaki books have put out a beautiful product here and I, I don't often give credit to publish I don't even think about it, publishers that often but I'm so astonished by these chat books that I, I I'm gonna have to take a look at these folks and and I've already ordered this was this year's uh, box set but they've they've done it for years now and I've already ordered some of those back ones because if they've done this kind of job in previous chapbooks, it's just gorgeous. Um, and then there's one other thing that I wanted, um, and I'm 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name because it's just, but this lady right here, if you can see her name there, did the photos for the covers of these books. And I just got to show you these things. Just look at these covers. These covers are gorgeous. These photos are astonishing. This is good quality stuff. I mean, it's strange for me to be worried about that. And I know that most of you booktubers don't think of books as objects, but I do. And I do collect first editions and signed edition books. And I'm just not used to seeing chat books like this. This is some extraordinary works that I just have to share with you and hope that you will Take a look at these folks and give credit to these folks that are, I mean, to the photographer that's doing this, to the, to the, to the book companies that are putting this kind of quality into a chat book are just extraordinary. I've, I've started already, I meant to leave these things on the shelf until um, July to have a month to prepare for my August idea. Of going through that. Now I'm hoping that I can get Rashmika to join me in this August in Africa read-along. Uh, we've not discussed it, so I, I don't want to put her on the spot. But I, I got these things uh, last week, and I have not been able to put them down. I had other reading assignments for me. Steve Donahue is a taskmaster, and we've got Dune coming in, do a series of Dunes, which are not poetry-related books. I get you, but uh, and I've got my own poetry uh, list that I'm trying to read for June and finish out. Uh, but I could not let these things sit. And every page I turn to, I cannot, I cannot tell you, every page the editors have done such a fine job of selecting these poems that each one of them has its own personality. These, this is not a redundancy in chapbooks. Every poet has a distinct voice, a distinct personality, and it comes across on the page. And they're beautifully written poems throughout. Uh, so if you are looking for something new, something different to try out, uh, and want to maybe take a look at this thing here, this box set, I got it off Amazon. Um, and it's the New Generation African Poets chapbook box sets. Uh, I am, I've already ordered some of the, uh, the last years and the year before, and I'm, you know, I've got three kids at home, so I can't spend a lot of money on books, but I'm telling you, I'm going to get all of these. Uh, I don't know if I can get in depth enough now that if I get carried away with the chat books because of their quality, I'm afraid I won't get in depth enough about any particular poet. And it might be ending up, uh, where I just go through chat books, um, and tell you how I, I responded to those chapbooks and rely on Stuart Payne, who, who does marvelous work. He's a South African poet, not just a poet, but he's a, he knows poetry. And Rashmika and um, anyone else out there that knows African poets, if you want to go in depth in August and join me in a, in a sort of read along, I'd love to hear you in the comments. If you want to join me, it would be I don't have, I've never done a read-along. I've never done any of this stuff before. I'm new to BookTube. Um, but this has got me excited. And Rashmika giving me a shout out is such, with such kind words, undeserved, but such kind words. And she's such a nice person. Uh, if you're interested in African poetry, South African poetry in, in particular, check out her channel. She will startle you with the kinds of reviews that she does and, and talking about South African poetry and African poetry in general. And, I, and don't forget to go to Stewart's page as well. And of course, Lucifer, which I feel really strange calling her that, but that's the name she uses on her, her YouTube channel. But And I do, like Lareshmika, I do know her real name, but Lucifer over at Argyle Dinosaur, who is a delight. So if you get a chance, stop by her channel uh, and Check her out. Check out Stuart and, of course, Rashmika, who is a doll. So that's it for today, BookTube. I, I was going to do a Friday Reads, but then I came in and I did. I saw Rashmika's video 
and thought I would at least point out that I haven't forgotten, Rashmika. I am trying to put some light on that dark ignorance of mine on African poets. Uh, you have been a tremendous help in that direction, and I am doing my own research. I'm not just relying on you. I am doing my own research. So I hope to see you again, and I hope uh, maybe I can publicly put you out and, <laughs> and ask you to join me in August for uh, August in Africa, and we'll go through some poets if you if you want to do that. I'd be delighted to do that with you. All right, BookTube, have a great day. Check out these other channels. They're worth your time.